Hello, you're watching Access. My name is Dave. I'm joined today by Rob. Hello. And Rob, you and I uh, went to sunny London town the other day it to play... It wasn't as sunny as this, was it? No, it wasn't. To play Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Mm. We got quite a lot of time with the game. Uh, and we were lucky enough to capture it. This is our capture. And this is five things you must climb. <laughs> um, five uh, semi-famous, or quite a lot famous, actually, landmarks. Yeah. London landmarks. Absolutely. So let's crack on to the first one, which is Rob. Big Ben? No. No? The Elizabeth Tower, Rob. Big uh, Ben's the bell. Everybody knows that. Uh, Everybody knows that, uh, Rob. Uh, oh. uh, I person I purposefully set Rob up with this. Um so yeah, it's the <laughs> You looked it up on Wikipedia, didn't you? I, I thought did. this is gonna be great. <laughs> I literally did. Um so yes, the Elizabeth Tower. Look um, how you can hop up it with the, the new grappling thing. I mean, is this, if this hasn't sold you straight away, I think this is amazing. They did like, say, didn't they? They've made the buildings more to scale this time that's right so well, it is proper elizabeth tower size i don't think they're they're more to scale i think that they are to scale up like in previous um, more to scale. in previous uh, assassin's creeds before unity the buildings weren't to scale mm. um but unity was the first one and, and again in syndicate where they are actually to scale and and you really notice Ooh. it like hopefully at the bottom of the elizabeth tower there i yeah. always said big ben you you just get a sense of it and now so the Look how high up enables you to get up there quickly because it would take you ages to climb up Elizabeth Tower otherwise. Yeah. And look at the height we are above London. And I tell you what, like what I really liked about this is it, the London in uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate is how it gave me a new perspective on a place that I actually knew. Yeah. And the people of Paris might have felt that about uh, Unity. I was going to say that. Like so many games are set in America, New York, Los Angeles. And getting having a game set in a place that we do know quite yeah, well. exactly. It's really exciting. It is. Um, and also, uh, like here again on the Elizabeth Tower, just the architecture <laughs> style as well. It's, a, it's an architecture style that I know really well. It's made well. me feel quite proud yeah. of London. Look how beautiful it is. Look at being able to climb on the clock face of the Elizabeth Tower. It's really cool. I love so that. So Big Ben is, is just the bell? It's just the bell. Um, there it is, in fact. There is Big Ben, just in there. I think we're going to go and see it in a second this is great as well just sort of like things that I would like to do in real life I would love to go up and I know, have a look be at great, Big Ben it? Um, and this is one of the things that's always brilliant about Assassin's Creed games um, no matter what you think of them you cannot deny that the worlds they've created are fantastic yeah beautiful absolutely amazing really authentic as well they really always nail the feel I mean I don't know what Renaissance Italy felt like I'm kind of assuming no. they nailed the, nailed the feel of it. Yeah. Uh, but they have really nailed the look of London. Um, Not just the... The Thames is really busy, isn't it? It is, yeah. Is, is the attention to detail just on the, the small like details of the, of the buildings? Um, they must have gone up there to look at all the detail on the Elizabeth Tower. I know. Um, so now we're moving into the Palace of Westminster, which was a good opportunity to show two. off... Um, the, the rope launcher for the first time. Yeah. Um, there you'll see, I wanted to make a point that the rope launcher, it isn't like, you know, you, you fire it and you go. You control the speed at which you move mm -hmm. along it, which is really good. So you can go forwards and backwards. Go you forwards can, and backwards. You can use it to air assassinate. Exactly, that's the point. Well. It doesn't have to be from getting to point A to point B. It can to be just to, to set up an assassination or something to get above things. Also, um, you have to deliberately initiate a leap of faith now. You do, I yes. I just wanted to mention that quickly. That is, you can't just accidentally leap off the top of a building. And also you can use it to go up, like not directly up, but also you like there, you know, you can, zip lines are only down mm. in real life. But in Assassin's Creed, you can use it to traverse. It's up. really handy. I think it compensates for the fact that we've got a properly to scale city with these huge towers. That's right. It would take forever to climb up and around them. And this is just a, a way to traverse the world more efficiently yeah and, and plus for, it's cool for me it really worked it's, it's it works with the whole fiction of the assassins and you know they love their yeah. their gadgets it felt completely in place and it's look at the quality of the light it makes Amazing. traversal really fun whereas maybe having to scale buildings like the elizabeth tower and just you know the palace of westminster like an actual human would that might become uh maybe a little bit sort of tedious it after would extend the time. playing time it for certainly would. Hours. It certainly would. Like you just never get bored of going up to these sort of high towers and and looking out over London. I think it's absolutely amazing. Which is going to take us on to our third thing you must climb. <laughs> it's um. Look, Rob, we're in the base. We're in the base. We're not. We're on a train. 
Oh, and you must climb on top of a train. You must climb on a train. Look at... I, I love the, this way of just looking at, around at London. It's great. It's a great pace. The smoke is really cool. And it's a good way of just getting a, a look at the city. I don't like know... A ride. Um, I don't know how yeah. far the train goes. This was my only bit of climbing on a train. St Paul's in the background. St Paul's in the background, yeah. We're going over the Thames. Um... But I just thought it, it's a really nice way to get around. And, I, and you can see that I'm heading for an objective on the train here. I, I don't know if that's a coincidence. I didn't tell the train to go this way. It just sort of worked out quite nicely for me. And I'm not entirely sure how the train is going to fit into the, the wider game. I'm hoping that you can use it to get around a bit like this. That is handy. Um, but um, I had like a base of operations on a train. Was that... I did think you find that as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's that's where we started was on the base of operations on the train, but um, definitely get on top of trains because that is cool. We're just going to take us onto our look at the architecture of London. Thing. It's like all crooked and crammed in there, just like it is. Sorry, what's the fourth thing? Well, you spotted it earlier, Rob. Can Are you, you going to climb up St Paul's Cathedral? Yes, indeed. That is what I'm going to do. Um, before I do, I just want to pick up on what you just said about the architecture. It's something they told us when we were playing is that they want to make London like a, like a character in the story, like a big character in the story. And the map is huge, isn't it? Like going around London, yes. it's, it's like it's London sized. Um, and they've been very careful to try and maintain the different personalities of the different parts of London. Um, one of those is like with the architecture, but it's also with um, the different kinds of NPCs that are in the street, and mm. things they're doing. Um, you know, when you get up high in a minute you'll see like different parts of London are very smoky because those are like the the industrial parts that are lovely London the... smog exactly yeah look at the look at the weathered effect on the brick there I know oh, it's, it's just, excellent it does look London does look like that yeah the brickwork on these it's old buildings it's so incredibly accurate I know we're talking sooty, about like... 200 years ago but uh, this is the London that I know as well I mean I, I have no reason to believe it was any different back then these are really old buildings and look just imagine being oh. able to go to the top I mean, it makes me Paul's sad that I don't like have this. these kind of parkouring skills in real life so look there's a really in industrial part of London you, you can see it there in the oh, distance the city you know is that's just what you're going to find there out smog just and smoke belching. and soot and the Thames is really chock-a-block I'm going to do the old synchronisation so we can have a nice little look around the showing off the graphics button yeah never get tired of synchronising no. Wow, what a beautiful game. There's, um, I think that might be Waterloo over there. Big giant station. This is the next one. Uh, we're at Bank. And we're going to climb on top of Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> this is just my own sort of personal fun. Is this what fun. you've done, Dave? Is this is my own personal fun. I, I just was trying to do story missions. Have you just climbed over monuments? Well, I just like the idea what of being a doing? bit of like a sort of modern day hooligan. Like, I've, you know, I quite <laughs> like to climb up on Wellington. Um, there's going to be loads of London monuments that you can climb. Nelson's Column was built yeah. by the time this uh, the game set in Trafalgar Square so that's there to climb uh, I did also climb the Bank of England but I decided not to put that in just because well you can see it right there uh, and this is the last one Rob this is you oh this is me yeah like you went on a train ride around the city I as a lover of water and video games decided to take a boat ride along the, the Thames yeah which is another great way of seeing the scale and the detail of the place yeah. but from the water yeah. Also, they've. I know I always go on about watering games, but they have nailed the kind of muddy, grimy look of the Thames here. Yeah, there's no. The um, Thames is not crystal and blue. The Thames is brown. There's no punches pulled, is there? I always remember being brown, told, like, green. You know, never get in the Thames or you will just die <laughs> from horrible infections. <laughs> of acid. Exactly. <laughs> and they have certainly. I mean, well, we saw all the all the black, thick, black smoke being belched out over yeah. London, and this is, you know. I look at how the boats just the wake they cause in the water it's not beautiful. beautiful water is it but it is accurate water it's beautiful in, in its own way you wouldn't technically want to go for a it's swim beautiful in it. yes um, um, but it isn't the, the Caribbean of Black Flag it is not and I love seeing the Thames like this like really packed you know it, it gives you a history of London like London's a really big successful city because it was a port on, yeah. a, on a big river on where big everything got imported route. to to the UK and I always look at, you get uh, that impression here historical uh, London in the past and I think wow wouldn't it be great to have been alive here it probably wouldn't have been no it would be terrible yeah. <laughs> it would be awful I wouldn't wish that on anyone um, 
So this is is you now travelling down the Thames, and we're going to have a nice look at the Palace of Westminster from oh, the outside. Oh, look at the camera work I did really here, Dave. Cool. Oh, you were skilled. You've got skillful thumbs. Um, look at that. I mean, the light really adds to the sense of scale of it. They've yeah. lit it, so it looks massive. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. That and is I, perfect. I'm sure many people watching this have seen in the flesh the Palace of Westminster, and that's, that is it there. That's it there. That's what's amazing is... It's, it's just it's there in you're there in the game you get to go and see all that really up close and climb it as you might have always wanted to I also like just traversing um, the Thames you can get from side to side because there's such a lot of boat traffic yep, don't have to go in the water it's uh, like if anyone's wondering you can swim in the Thames by the way going in the water doesn't kill you like um, real life like it would in real yeah. life uh, so yeah you can swim because that's a thing people will often ask about video games oh does going in the water kill you no it doesn't it's like um but you can free one from side to side without actually touching the water if you're skilled it's like an inverted game of frogger isn't it where you're you're (laughs) aiming for the vehicles not for the gaps anyway that's um six things actually that you must climb in in uh assassin's creed syndicate including climbing the river yeah exactly climbing the train yes exactly yeah (laughs) they're not all massive things but you just must climb them uh so let us know what you'll be looking forward to climbing in assassin's creed syndicate uh like this video if you like this video and please do subscribe so you don't miss anything that we've got coming up